Okay, I am outside the building and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little walk around the building first. So this is on the lower block, second, uh, second to the lowest block of Germain Street. Um, it's almost on the corner of Queen Street and Germain. So I'm just going to go up here and that's the hall that I currently believe is being used for wedding receptions. And the St. John Construction Association, beautiful building across the street. So it's got some lovely architectural features. Now, this is in the city's heritage zone. So even to paint those doors, which need paint, <coughs> it means we have to use heritage colors and it may have to go before the heritage board to approve the bloody color that you can paint those doors. Um, it's a pain, so that's going to be a consideration. It's not a big thing, um, but it, it does, you know, have to be done, and they'll approve. Uh, they'll give you a color palette of certain colors to do the door painting. There's actually some damage to the front door. district as you do have to follow their rules. The brickwork on the front looks pretty good to me, but I am not a mason. I don't know a lot about brickwork. 246 is the basement apartment. 246-248 um, are the two back apartments. So there's going to be a door to that one. Now that's a metal door. Anything on the, on the sides, I believe, doesn't have to follow heritage bylaws. This would be parking for the building. Well, they do have off-street parking. That's labeled 248. This is labeled 246. And there really isn't room for anyone else to get in here and park um, and still be able to get out. So I'm just going to come down here to see if we can see the back of the building. So propane heat and he's got four rented tanks from Park Fuels. It's probably efficient but the landlord's paying for the heat and that's included in the rent of the 1200 or 1700 whatever he's getting. He's got all kinds of fire escapes the back doors of the apartments. Uh, hard to tell, but it looks like they just need a wash. The wood looks pretty good. There has been some brick repair work done. You can see um, some of the, the white cement where someone's done some repair work in there. It's a big building. Apartments must be very big, which means they could probably get way more rent if they're nice than what they're getting. Before I grab the keys, I'm going to see what I can see from the back of the building down here. All right, there's some bricks laying here. So I don't know whether they've done some patching or they need to do some patching, but they do match, or maybe they just bought them from an old building was being torn down, so they've got them to match because they seem to match in color. Again, I don't know a lot about brick. I can just look at it and tell you from a layman's perspective. Okay, so here, this white stuff. That looks like salt. 
to me or some crappy patching that was done. But I mean, this stuff, these buildings have been here for over a hundred years. They may need no work or they may need all kinds of work. I mean, you'd have to get an inspector to look at this. I mean, here there's been a patch. You can see where someone has cement that maybe it was leaking. It's not my understanding of how you do repointing. I don't think you do it that messy with cement. It looks like someone just did it. Now there's some work up underneath the stairs. That looks like it may need some work too, but again, an inspector could tell us that. That must be the emergency door from downstairs. So for meters on this building, there's five. So that tells me there's one for each unit plus a common area apartment, like a common area for the landlord. The yellow pipe is the propane heat that goes in. And that door over there must be for the building next door, I would say, based on the its location. Or maybe that door goes into the basement. So I'll have to find out once I have the keys. So this will end this video. This is just a walk around externally to the building.